Welcome back to the channel. This is Andrew running with Dr. Andrew and today what I'd like to do is share with you my training program for the next 13 weeks. Alright guys, let's go. Alright guys, what I'm doing today, uh, this week I had finished 40, 42 miles, almost 43 miles, and uh, legs full pretty great compared to I ran a marathon last week. I think the early running kind of helped out with the lactate to kind of push out. Legs don't feel terribly tired. It feels good to run out there. Is The weather's cool, so the leg feels great to the legs. Um, but what I decided to do, kind of change up, I've been doing, change up the program that I've been doing. <clears throat> I've been doing my own program, adding some things that I know that seem to help out, and which it does. Uh, but the last few weeks, my consistency was a little bit off just because of personal things. But uh, <clears throat> do I uh, found an app, and everyone does talk about Hal Hig Higdon. Uh, he's a author, and uh, he's known for writing his his marathon programs. There's also a running app called Run With Hal, and it seems to be going pretty good so far. I really like it. You can add mileage if you want to. Um, you can pick if you're a beginner or a novice or, or, or advanced. This depends on how, how fast you want to run the marathon. You can set your time. And the mileage, you can set the mileage, how much you've been running. <clears throat> like I said, you can also add certain type of uh, runs as well too so it seems like it will kind of help you keep you consistent and also kind of gives you a grade of how well you're being consistent consistent as well as how well the quality of running is doing so right now I've got a B plus <laughs> a couple runs that are a little slower than what they uh, what it, it prescribed for me to do so which is okay uh, I'll definitely get back up to that point or you know as long as I'm being consistent so definitely pretty excited about this program it's kind of get the monotony of <clears throat> of trying to come up, coming up with a program and <clears throat> not knowing exactly what I needed to do and so just give it a try and hopefully maybe it does help out uh, and I've heard people have done this type of program it seems to help out with them let me know in the comments have you used Hal Higdon's programs before <clears throat> I think it's something that can be you know definitely utilized uh, I don't know a lot of people use it and it seems what they do is they you do a long run and then what happens is the next week it's your long runs decreased so it kind of go up and down there too so it gives you a little bit of rest weeks so which I kind of like keeps your legs nice and fresh and that way maybe by the time you get to the marathon you're not burnt out and uh, your legs are ready to go for the pace and also do marathon pace I've done marathon pacing before and so <clears throat> be able to get a chance to do the marathon pacing for a certain amount of mileage that like uh, tomorrow I've got a three mile run at seven minute and 30 sec 30, 36 second pace and so pretty excited about that like I said, I can add some, if I want to do a warm-up mile or a cool-down mile, I can add that as well to the program for your mileage as well. <clears throat> and also you get to, you know, add everything to Strava as well too, if you are, if you get onto Strava for, for your mileage as well. And so I hope everyone's program is doing well. Let me know if you're running any type of uh, fall or winter marathons or races. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Keep safe, keep running, and I'll see you next time.